female, and I worked at McDonald's during my senior year of high school and my freshman year of college. This story took place my first year working there, only a few days onto the job. It was my first job I ever had, and I remember one time I was working on a busy weeknight. When things finally got quiet, I was asked to go mop the floors. I mopped around the front of the restaurant and then made my way to the back. When I got towards the back and was almost done, I noticed there was one man who was sitting in the back corner of the restaurant. As I mopped sort of near him, he said hi to me. I said hi, and the man then asked me what time I got off of work that night. I told the man I was getting off pretty soon and then went back to mopping. He asked me what I was doing after work. I responded that I was going to my friend's house, which happened to be a lie, but this guy was kind of creeping me out, so I made something up. You think? It's all the... Of course they are. I'm not even, even going to ask that dumb question. Because, yes, they are. What? I was going to ask, are they the table on the left or the table on the right? And I'm pretty sure we already know what the table they are. These stories are based on. From who? <laughs> this is, this is why. I could feel the man just watching me as I did, and he was just constantly watching me for several minutes after that. It was really starting to creep me out. I was finally done mopping, and shortly after that I could go home. I left the restaurant and noticed that the man was still sitting in the corner as I did. I was relieved that he didn't try to follow me out or anything like that. I went home and got ready for bed as it was a school night and about 10 p.m. I got into bed and started watching some shows on the TV in my bedroom. Right. I would say about an hour or so later, I was beginning to get really sleepy and turned off my light. When my light got turned off, it revealed that on the other side of my bedroom window, there was a shadow. Mm. Oh, I had a fun. shade covering the window, <laughs> but if it was dark out, you could sort of see shadows on the other side of it. Usually, there was the shadow of a tree that was on the side of the window, and a bush on the other one. But now, there was a large shadow right smack in the middle, and it appeared to be a person. I got a bad feeling immediately and slowly pushed the shades down a little bit. All I needed was about one inch of space to see that there was a man right outside of my window. I jumped back and screamed as loud as I could. I could see the shadow moving and a couple of seconds later my parents came running into the room. I was freaking out but once my parents understood my dad ran outside. Unfortunately the man was long gone by the time what he got out there, and he didn't see any sign of him. When he came back inside, my mom had already called the police, and I told them all about the creepy guy at McDonald's. After the police came and we spoke with them, we went to the McDonald's the next day. Luckily, I never saw the man again. I almost quit McDonald's after that, but decided to stick with it and work there for two years. That remains the scariest story I have from my time working there. Looks like we ran out of time, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss the next part of our reaction to these true horror stories. Bye y'all!